We have some breaking news to tell you about. A possible tornado has swept through the city of Salisbury, Maryland. That's in the eastern part of the state near the Delaware border, a city of about 30,000 people. We're going to go now to our affiliate there, WBOC, for more live coverage. It has already probably rolled through the Silver Beach area. How fast is this storm moving? Moving about 30 miles an hour, looks to me, maybe even a little bit above that. And it's going to go just south of Exmoor here. It may be right near Exmoor and in very close to Watcha Creek here. And we're seeing more cloud to ground lightning with this system than what we saw that hit Salisbury and Sussex County. And not only that, Steve, but the cloud to ground lightning is increasing. And when you see a jump in the lightning, that's a sign of a very strong updraft in a storm we call that a lightning jump and so this cell is looking fairly healthy I'm also going to be looking at this here on the radar and I'm going to do that right now because I mean on the satellite because that will tell me something else this cell is increasing I'm looking at it here on five minute imagery from the new weather satellite and and it is getting stronger right now uh, so we've, we've got a pretty good cell here it can so, certainly produce a tornado. so let's go ahead and time this out for the folks in Exmoor I imagine we are minutes away and then uh, you know what's uh, a watch a pre just south of watch a pre no, I'll go ahead and do Indeed. a time lapse on it. Uh, tor tornado warning in effect now for extreme southern Accomack County. This one moving uh, off to the northeast uh, at about 30 miles an hour, Dan says, just making landfall a few minutes ago. We did get a heads up from the National Weather Service uh, while this system was still in the Chesapeake Bay, but it was about to come on shore. Uh, we got a little bit more notice uh, with this one. And the rotation has increased, Steve. It is stronger now, and it's near just northwest of Nassawatix. So about 11 minutes right from Exmoor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then it will be, uh, yeah, 345, 11 minutes. It'll be over uh, Exmoor. And then Old Trower, I'm not familiar with that. You may be. Me neither, no. Uh, and then that goes on up close to Watchapreeg. Anyone who is listening to us on a boat... Uh, on, on a craft in the water, you need to immediately get to the nearest port, uh, to the nearest land, get off the water right now. This thing could produce some very strong winds. You can still see that lightning there jumping up here in that last image. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, when the lightning jumps like that, uh, there's some very new research on that over the last couple of years. When the lightning jumps in a cell, uh, especially the total lightning, we are just looking at the cloud to ground lightning, but when the total lightning jumps, that is a real sign of the updraft is strengthening or is about to strengthen dramatically. Uh, that is what we're seeing here more than likely. It looks like the lightning is increasing on this cell. Now, this cell is just coming in on Exmoor, moving to the northeast around 25 to 30. I've just gotten a new update from the radar, and the rotation has now increased dramatically. I think we probably do have a tornado trying to develop. Now, the beam height, the radar beam is going a long ways here to reach this storm, and it's up at about 7,000 feet, but we do have very strong rotation at 7,000 feet now. Uh, very, very possibly a tornado here trying to develop near Nassawatix. Now, that's over the border, Steve, into mm -hmm. Northampton County. So is right. Exmoor, uh, and we really kind of stop right there at, at the southern tip uh, of uh, Accomack County, but those of you south of uh, Melfa, beware of this storm. Mm -hmm. um, this storm seems to be stronger than what we saw er earlier today. We had what we believe uh, has to be confirmed by the National Weather Service, uh, what was likely an EF1 tornado that hit uh, the Salisbury area uh, near Salisbury University about 1.30 this afternoon, uh, overturning uh, about five or six cars and knocking down trees and, and ripping some roofs off of buildings. The damage reports are still coming in. At last check with Dave Shipley of Wicomico County Emergency Operations, one person was hurt. Uh, he's a busy guy, but we're trying to get up with him to get an update on that situation as we continue to monitor this latest tornado warning now um, that is in the uh, southern Accomack County area. Exmoor, uh, estimated or time of arrival about uh, eight minutes from now. You'll be just south of Exmoor, I think, Steve, just barely south. I am now looking at the regular rainfall, what we call reflectivity, and I am seeing a hook echo trying to develop on this cell. I'm seeing now strong rotation, very strong rotation. I think there is a tornado trying to form. It, there's a tornado aloft. I don't know if it's on the ground, but there is very strong rotation in this cell uh, as it moves toward Exmoor. Anyone in Exmoor should immediately take tornado precautions, get away from windows, go to the lowest room in your house. If you're in a mobile home and you can safely, quickly go somewhere else, you need to do it right now. This cell will probably pass just south of Exmoor here in about the next eight to nine minutes. Uh, and I'll re-clear that off the screen. We are seeing strong rotation on the radar now. Okay.
this tornado warning uh, officially in effect until four o'clock. It may uh, end sooner at the, the the rate that this thing is moving. It's, it's hauling across the eastern shore of Virginia right now. It sure is, but it's going to probably end up over land. Okay, we've been uh, listening to ongoing coverage from WBOC of a possible tornado in Salisbury, Maryland. They're also monitoring a second storm and watching it as it moves. Now, take a look at these pictures from Salisbury. Uh, you can see at least one car, and, and this is first the house, but in a moment we're going to see a car uh, and some trees uprooted. Uh, fortunately, so far there are no reported injuries, but plenty of debris for crews to work through. Some people have lost power. Uh, we'll keep an eye on this story, but right now we're going to take a quick break and come back uh, with updates as it develops. You're watching CBSN, always on.